or black rugby? Your opinion, Robbie Kempson, what is going on? Sure. Uh, they're in turmoil. There's definitely, there's, whether they say it or not, there, there's something amiss, um, as we've had in our you know, national setup. You can see when something's not quite uh, you know, sticking right, whether it's the coach, whether it's um, Sam Kane, which I, I think would be unfair to, to blame. Um, certainly, you know, and we were chatting about it earlier, so most countries get rid of the head coach yeah. and then worry about what's underneath and where they can shift it. And, um, I do think Jason Ryan's an imp impeccable coach. I think he's, he's a great addition to them. Um, you know, positive for him is they did stop our driving malls. They were in the back foot in the scrums. They were always going to be with the kind of talent that we have. But I think if you look at their attack, it was absolutely nowhere. Mm. So at what stage do, and I think it's going to come sooner than we think, New Zealand rugby go, well, the fish does actually right at the head and he's got to go. But who do they bring in? Yeah. Uh, who's the next guy they bring in? I think we're at that stage already. I, I, don't, I, don't, I think everything's in place for when they get back home, there's going to be a significant change. And regardless of what happens in Ellis Park, I think that change is going to come. So, John, I mean, is, is this a natural cycle of a team, a natural cycle of a company, or whatever it is? Somewhere along the line, if you're the top, you've got to come to the bottom. Yeah. Is what they're going through? Because it, it's such a rare thing we've seen when it comes to rugby with New Zealand. Just Even in the... They're below par. They always manage to win. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, they just look so average. Look, I think, you know, the, the one thing also New Zealand has done well historically is that they've always uh, promoted from within. Mm -hmm. So assistant coaches, we know when Graham Harry left, uh, the next one came in from there. And, and so I think the, 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 their system has worked up until this point, yeah. you know, by, by promoting with, with, from within, which I also think it's good for a system because, you know, you kind of keep continuity. But at the same time, not all assistant coaches make great head coaches, you know. And, and coming to the point of, you know, guys like uh, um, um, John Plumtree who was at the Sharks, you know, him being fired, I would have actually maybe loved to give him an opportunity as a head coach. Because, again, he has been a head coach. He has taught South Africa. He knows what it's about in terms of, you know, challenging South Africans. He knows what it takes to get under our skin. And, and, and so now we've actually uh, cut our first, our inside, inside lane, we've actually cut him and, and chased him away. Um, yes, Ben Ryan is a great coach, but uh, for me, I, I, just, I maybe would have stuck with, with John Plumtree. Yeah, I would have uh, loved John Plumtree, head coach with All Blacks boys. <laughs> I, would, <laughs> we, yeah. we, I think we would have I, done I would right. welcome that. I, I think, you know, you know, Swayze, you've done finals against Robinson mm. and what he brings to the table. I mean, it's just, I think they need a, a shift from where they've been for the last couple of years, almost you know, 10 years now, under this kind of regime that they've had. Isn't Robinson worth a chat now regarding you know, where they're going, what they're trying to achieve? The game has yeah. changed. He's the most successful coach yeah. in New Zealand. Surely he deserves a crack. It, it seems like it's beyond rugby. You know, when you bring Robinson in, mm. I think of a guy like Robbie Deans, mm. Crusaders for years, True. in control, dominant, mm. could never get the All Blacks uh, job. Now you look at a guy like Robinson, mm. dominant, under 20s, mm. uh, Crusaders, can't get the All Blacks job. Could it be a... We're not be. getting a head coach from, 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 from uh, Crusader country? True, very true. I think there's more than that behind the scenes, you know, the leadership. I listened to Hanson mm -hmm. and a few of the, what the stuff they had to say, you know. Just to pay out fosters, uh, out, all in all, to get rid of them is, is, is millions, you know, of, uh, of, of, of uh, dollars. Yeah. And, uh, and, and that for me is a big problem at this stage, you know. If you can't fire a guy, and now you still make changes. And adding what you said, I would have kept Plum. He knows the fields. He knows the mm. system. He knows what to do. And their defense is really, for me, in no man's land. Mm. Speaking about Plum, who was in charge of that as well at the mm. stage, Robbie. Mm. And, uh, you know, are they rushing out? Are they waiting? Foster did say they tackled well after which, uh, afterwards, and they, which they did. But not very good, you know. Uh, all in all, I think it's a bigger problem than we think. But saying that, Robinson... Is the guy on form? We pick players on form. He's the coach on form. We did coach against him. He knows his game. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we might get a surprise when we get in two is weeks, two or three weeks' time. We might is get a it, surprise. Is it not a case like Rassi Rasmus brought back in, you know, a team that was flailing, and he managed to, to get them to win a World Cup? Is Robinson not there, Rassi Rasmus? Well, the, uh, I think, yeah. I think, I think it could be. I think it could be. But, but again, you know, for me, I, th I think we're very. And, and that's why South Africans are oh, so Josh nice. Schmidt is in the system we, already. Yeah, I mean, but, but for me, again, South Africans are such nice guys. You remember, this is the same Ian Foster who said last year, you know, he fell asleep, well, two years back, he fell yeah, asleep, you know, watching the, the, the All Black, oh, well, the Spring Mocks and, and the Lions. Yeah. You know, so maybe... He looked wide awake for me, he <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe, maybe, maybe we should just, maybe just let them deal with their, with their stuff. Because, again, let, let's, let's go back to our show we did last year. 
we, 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 it was said on their show that our rugby is boring. Our rugby is, is still, there's no excitement. Well, uh, we won the match over the weekend. Let the penny drop. <laughs> Not for you guys. <laughs> Anyone else listening out there?